I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. Today we're going to turn a bunch of this crap into a flashlight. Let's get started before the Raiders come. So what you're going to need is a can. Uh, it doesn't have to be sealed. Just a can, a uh, candle, and some rope of some kind. And that's pretty much the minimum you need to make this. All this other cool stuff is just for embellishment. If you got a can, some rope, and a candle, you're going to be good to go. Oh, shit, I hear the mutants at the door. Let's get going. Alright, so like I said, first thing you're gonna need is a can. This is, I wrote on it, fruity. I think it's OJ. It sounds kind of chunky for OJ, so let's go ahead and open it. Thank goodness someone invented these tabs so I don't have to use a screwdriver to just stab it. Um, these look, uh, those look a little funky. Um, all right, well, I'm going to spear some and I'm going to eat them real quick against my better judgment, but I'm really hungry, so I'll let me eat these real quick and then uh, we'll get started. All right, against my better judgment, I ate those, but you can't let citrus go to waste out here. Uh, it's too important to get that vitamin C, so I ate them. I'm probably going to be feeling it later, but it's a calculated risk, so rinse this out in the stream. It's probably radioactive now, but whatever. Now, you may think that this is cool, and you may want to leave that on there, but let me tell you something. This is razor sharp, and even though you may think it looks cool and it may serve a function, all you're going to do is end up cutting yourself open with it later. So pull it off now and get rid of it. Do yourself a favor. Pro tip, use this to shave. Trust me. Yeah, you're going to have to drag it a little bit, but you can shave with it. All right, now this is a little deformed and dented, so we're gonna just reach back in here and pop this back out. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this out here with a rag. If you're drying yours out, be careful not to cut yourself. These things are sharp. If making this makes you nervous because this sharp edge, well, I mean, you can file that down, you can bend it down, do whatever you want to do. So it's not sharp. Just get yourself some pliers and just crimp that down if you want to. That way it won't be real sharp. Now, if you think you might want to put a protective lens on here, then don't do that because you're going to want this lip here to be able to put a lens over. You know, whatever that lens is going to look like, it'll sit in there nice and pretty. So, you need to decide whether you want to keep that or not. For the one I'm making, I'm not keeping it or bending it in. Now that sharp edge is gone, basically all we're going to do is put this candle inside here and that's the flashlight. Hang it from a string, put a handle on the bottom. And that's your flashlight, so it's actually pretty simple. But, of course, we're going to take it a step further because we want to be the uh, coolest cats in the wasteland. So, we're going to do it up a little bit. Now, this is pretty shiny in here, but I want to make it more shiny. Now, there's two ways to do that. Get yourself some West Virginia chrome, or I happen to have some bright silver or mirrored sort of spray paint. Now if you're going to use the duct tape, they make actual metallic duct tape that is very reflective, very shiny. I would use that and just line the inside of it. And if not, they make this silver version, so you could use that. This is going to be good. I've used it before on similar projects. And I know it works. Now you can spray just down in it or you could spray a foam brush and actually paint the inside. I'm going to choose to do that. So let me go ahead and paint this. I don't think I need to show you how to do that. We're just going to paint the inside, let it dry, and then move on to the next step. So we got our can done. Now I painted the inside that mirrored bright silver finish and what I did here was I took an actual candle and just held it inside and let it smoke up the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount our little battery power candle down here, but if someone looks inside, it'll look like it's a real candle doing its real candle stuff. And I took a minute and did a little bit of genre stuff on the outside of it, just with some paint and some spray paint. Uh, so pretty simple stuff. 
Now, if you didn't turn all of your found flashlights into drinking vessels, then what you could do is you could actually take this and you can just stick it in here whenever you're all done. And you could use this and use it like an actual flashlight. Um, but if all these are now drinking cups, then what you need to do is figure out a way to mount or hang this. Now, depending on how you play the apocalypse, I mean, if you have things like straps like this, you can just strap it and genre it up. You could use leather or suede cord. You could use rope. I, however, I'm going to choose to use wire. So, I would like to believe that in an actual apocalypse, this, because it is plastic, would last a lot longer than this. So, there's a good chance that a lot of this will still be around. 550 paracord may not be around, but cables and wire, plastic or rubber coated, it's still gonna be laying around out there. So we're gonna use this to make our little hanging contraption for this lantern. So what we're gonna make this hanger with, and you could use duct tape or something also, but we're gonna use these two pop can tabs and two little nuts and bolts out of my scavenged hardware jar here. Now, if you have access to a drill, you can use that. If not, you can use your ice pick or personal defense item to punch this hole in here. So entirely up to you. Just don't stab yourself when you're doing this. And just make it approximately the correct size for the bolt. That's perfect. And then from there, it's just a matter of our pop can tab, our bolt, and then putting the nut on the inside. Now, if the bolt doesn't fit, you may need to find a washer to put on the outside of this. Now we have those secured and in place. So those are gonna serve as our hangers. Now I have this baseball hat brim this is actually off of my stubby mashed potatoes dwarf hat if you've seen that video but you could use a regular baseball brim or whatever you want to do and we're going to take and we're actually going to add this to the front with some screws to sort of keep the light angled and keep the rain out so this is just a little small addition because I had the part laying around where I'll toss this on there. So it'll almost look like a motorcycle headlight, sort of. And here we go. We got our hangers, we got this brim installed. You make like yours without. It's entirely up to you when you're doing this project. And then pretty much all we gotta do is get this on here so we can hang it. Because this is wire, you're gonna have a difficult time getting knots in it, but once you start getting them, it won't be so difficult. There we go. And the last thing we need to do is put a hole in the bottom of this for the on-off switch. Now, if you buy the regular tea lights, uh, the candles, they have a little metal thing that surrounds them. You could pull the wax out or burn it out use that to mount it in the bottom of this so you could just set this inside and maybe velcro it or something that would be a lot easier if you think you're going to be changing these often uh, what we're going to do here just to keep it simple is to hot glue the bottom of it so we're still going to want to have access to this on off switch though the tea light base is a much better idea long term but for this project we're just going to do this and i also did paint this candle with an antique white to give it more of a sort of candle look and you can certainly genre that a little bit more if you care to. We're gonna need a pretty decent hole in the bottom, a little bit bigger than what I made, so let's go ahead and just widen this up a little bit. 
And then we hit it with the hot glue. <clears throat> Just be sure to keep the hot glue away from the on off switch. And here's the finished product. So we have our can, of course we have our pop can tabs, the wire we wrapped around if you look inside. Looks like the candle's actually burning. I went ahead and melted some of the plastic on here. Of course, did some genre work, hit it with a hammer, put some tape on it in some places. I actually ended up using the uh, pull tab from the top of this can that we opened. You know, hit it with a hammer a little bit, did some stuff. Still, you know, says OJ on the back. But, you know, you can make a bunch of these and use them as like stage lights or something. But, uh, you know, really, it's up to you what you want to do with this. This is a simple take on a hunter's lantern. You know, it's a type of prepping item you can do. Usually you'd use a candle. Now, depending on your game, I mean, you could put a real candle in here for sure. You could just drill a hole through the bottom, stick a candle up through and light it. There's lots of variations and takes on this, but I want to do a post-apocalyptic spin on it. And I think that this uh, will get you there. Now, if you play a game where you're not allowed to have light like this, you have to have red light, or you could put a red LED in there, or like I said in the very beginning, before we crimped this ledge down, if you took a piece of red film and put it over there, then it would produce a red light. So that's how you get around having the red light on here. But let's go ahead and turn out the light and see how it looks. And that's the finished product. So I hope that you enjoyed making this light source and you can make them a variety of different ways with different cans, you know, pop cans, coffee cans, whatever you want to use and you can genre it in multiple different ways depending on what your aesthetic needs to be or what you want it to look like and of course you can do a lot of different things with it whether you're using it at a festival or a LARP or if it's just going to be hanging at your camp or it's just a prop or if it's something you're going to carry on you there's tons of different ways you can do this and I'd love to see you know what you work out with it so if you do make one of these or if you already have one you know, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter let me see some pictures of what you've done because I'd love to see other people's takes on these items and uh, I hope that you enjoyed it of course please like this video subscribe to my channel if you're not already let everybody that you know know that I'm here making these cool projects and these awesome videos and uh, of course as always adventure on